Hello Pisces, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the week of May 29th, 2019. I got most of my readings done yesterday on the 28th and then I had a family emergency that luckily turned out okay. So I'm filming Aquarius and Pisces here today uh, from the 29th of May going into about June 6th of 2019. Now, I always like to start out with my Lenormand deck so I can get a big picture view of the energies that will be available for you Pisces to work with on into and through the next week. So when I split my first Lenormand deck, we had the broom, spirit saying, sweep away, sweep away from what? Some form of situation regarding love and romance, perhaps. Uh, when I looked at the second Lenormand deck, we had wisdom, wisdom regarding something that Pisces has been hoping, wishing and praying for. So let's clarify. I'm doing a first card, uh, five card spread using the first Lenormand deck. So we do have a Pisces who may be wishing, hoping, and praying to move their life's path journey into a new direction of sorts. Uh, they were maybe connecting with groups of people via community, society, social media, or they are wanting to, but they are dealing with the energies of burden, this Pisces. So uh, this Pisces is hoping that a situation is very karmic and or lucky, or that something will transpire that is karmic and or lucky. And spirit is here with the clock energy saying divine timing is at work. You Pisces are going to recognize some form of clarity this week. For some, it may take until June 6th of 2019. Either way, uh, what is coming your way is going to feel very karmic. Now, uh, we have a Pisces who is kind of confused about a soulmate connection situation. Is that my soul path? Is this my soul purpose? Is that my soul partner? Okay, soulmate. Uh, this Pisces wanted to at one point travel or move into the direction of what I'm feeling is another person, but it could be another place, circumstance, situation, or environment. But there are burdens here, and the burden is regarding finances is that Spirit's trying to tell you we want to show you something according to divine timing so that you can recognize that Spirit has been at work guiding you through what may have felt like uh, difficult circumstances. Interesting. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to bring in the second Lenormand deck in combination with the first. Again, I'm doing a five card spread. Again, when it comes to love and romance, we have a Pisces who may be thinking about uh, what it is that's tugging at their heartstrings when it comes to home and or business. Uh, they are, this Pisces is wanting to cut away from some form of communication via the internet and or cut away from uh, green pastures. Hope, hoping there will be uh, more stability, security, and abundance elsewhere, wanting to travel or move, trying to obtain more wisdom about some form of communication or paperwork. Uh, this Pisces has been... Okay, I feel like this Pisces is wanting to sneak towards these obstacles, sneak towards a situation at a distance wanting to give birth to a new situation, new direction, um, but there are the mice there, which represents anxiety. So, yeah, oof. We have, uh, wow. <clears throat> okay, the tower represents uh, a business organization, beautiful home environment situation. And we have the coffin here saying that something went full circle because it was supposed to. That is when something was supposed to end. Something ended. So we have a Pisces that's thinking about, do I want to stay or go towards some form of commitment partnership contract? This Pisces uh, is hoping to receive kind words, messages, flowers, and gifts from a situation that may involve the snake energy, which is about lies and deceit. So let's look a little deeper. All right, so I'm combining the two Lenormand decks and two five-card spreads. 
And the first couple cards here are what are representing the energies from today, the 29th, into about the 31st. We have a Pisces who is thinking about kind words, messages, uh, feeling very good, feeling like a kid again because they're, they're hoping to move into a new path, a new direction. Or they're very positively thinking about the future, very slowly trying to think about where the future could lead them. Uh, there is a lot of confusion and illusion here. There's trying to get to the truth of a situation as this Pisces is thinking about a passionate masculine or is the passionate masculine trying to figure out why something ended. Feminine or masculine, this week, I think this Pisces is recognizing that something ended that made them feel good at one point, that made them contemplate new journeys, but that left them confused. Somebody may come towards Pisces this weekend quickly and or unexpectedly. I got around the June 1st of 2019. Wow. And then we've got the Pisces thinking about children and money. We've got a Pisces who's thinking about play playful energies and their money. I feel like children and money after communicating with another quickly and or unexpectedly and by the week of the beginning so well we'd say let's say the third fourth and fifth okay am i getting my dates right i'm sorry yeah third fourth or fourth or fifth so this reading goes until the fifth <sighs> Okay, I'm getting a few different things here because this card is right next to the children. Kind words, messages, flowers, gifts, reason to celebrate. Maybe uh, this Pisces is going to be celebrating something in relation to a child or there's going to be uh, thoughts of a playful connection and hopes that there will be devotion from another. They're thinking still about, wow. I've also got, I have to say, this could be a really interesting weekend. Like this Pisces was thinking about a situation that left them confused. They like consciously said, I'm done with it. I brought it to an end in my mind. I know what it was meant to teach me and I'm over it. I, you know, cut my ties. Please, Jesus, take that situation away from me. I think even as soon as today, this Pisces is going to start to feel like they're back to themselves. They've freed themselves. And then something or someone comes around the 1st of June to make an offer regarding finances to this Pisces. And then there is like, they're thinking about their children. They're thinking about the money. They're um, happy about... The fact that they, they're they thinking about flowers, gifts, celebration, devoting themselves to this offer, this opportunity. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to look closer. So I'm actually going to use, I'm going to use the Rider Waite deck and I'm going to be doing a circle spread. Please clarify these messages, dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, for this particular Pisces that I'm reading for during this general reading. And thank you to those of you whom have let me know that these are indeed your messages and or your energies, your readings, however they may apply. That helps me very much. So dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, Pisces, for the week of May 29th. To Wednesday, June 5th, 2019. Okay. Oh boy. So we have passionate communication. Uh, wow. So between now, I think it's going to fall on different days for different Pisces. Some form of communication is going to come your way that's going to make you think or remember very passionately about that passionate masculine. Look at this is doing. It's putting you in that cloudy energy, the devil energy of I'm so trapped or stuck to this person and yet this chain is so easy to remove. Why do I get myself caught up in an energy or situation that is unhealthy? That carries the energies of negativity, whether it's another person, a combination of you with that person, however it may apply in the relation sector. We do have the emperor. So somebody may come towards you, Pisces, very quickly and or unexpectedly with kind of that harsh exterior energy. They're very clear, organized, logical, disciplined, focused and determined, um, but they are not very uh, affectionate. Like they can say really passionate things, but you're going to recognize an ending because of their energy being like the emperor. For some, you may be dealing with someone who has uh, 
Capricorn in their chart or someone who has Pisces in their chart. We also have that passionate energy, fiery energy, but I'm going to wait on that for a minute. Now, in the creative aspects position of the circle spread, this Pisces is receiving unexpected communication because they, like, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually let go of something that used to make them feel good. They're working hard, and now they're starting to just feel very independent, secure, and stable because communication regarding finances, communication whereby this Pisces is now going to devote themselves to researching forward movement. What can I continue to manifest for myself that is bringing me peace, joy, and happiness, that is bringing me stability and security, that is bringing me money and uh, a way to maybe help provide more for my children. So this Pisces emotionally by uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so that'd be the 3rd, 4th, or 5th of June 2019 is kind of keeping their heart open to a playful connection, but they know deep inside that a situation is not healthy or a person is not making good choices, that this person is closed off emotionally uh, and is a bit harsh. So this Pisces is saying, no problemo, senor. I'm the queen of wands and I will set goals and meet goals. I will communicate with you passionately, but I'm going to sit here in my throne and I'm going to be very clear about what I'm trying to do for myself. That brings me joy. I have planted many wonderful things in my own personal journey. And I see you for the devil you are. So I don't mind playful communication, but I'm not going to give away all of what I currently have going on in my life for this unhealthy situation. Day to day, this Pisces is well aware that someone else is not opening up when it comes to their emotion, their finances. Um, in, in fact, just they're really closed off. And, and Spirit's saying, don't communicate out to another if they continue to leave you with that in that state of confusion. Instead, free yourself from those ties and say, Spirit, I'm ready for good communication to come in regarding my finances. Boom, that communication comes in and Pisces starts to say, I'm going to get very clear, organized, logical, disciplined, focused, and determined. I am going to take action to research this new opportunity and new directions so that I can move into the path of financial abundance, security, and stability uh, as I feel you guys are creating for yourself at this time in some way. Good for you, Pisces. So in your inner strengths position, uh, Spirit's giving you the strength to be like that naked little child riding through the sunflower fields bareback on a horse enjoying the sun the blue skies working hard researching your own stability and security your own financial independence watching others but being well aware of those energies that are closed off that in the past left you confused and um, unsure unhappy however that may apply so in a three card summary to my right uh, when we have someone coming towards Pisces with this little playful communication that may not grow into much more than what it is uh, we do have some form of exciting communication too for some Pisces during this week where they could look be looking back at how far they've come and be contemplating some form of offer is as where I'm at more fulfilling than where I could go towards I'm feeling stuck or trapped in a path that I've been in for a period of time and I really kind of want to hop skip and jump off a cliff at this time and do something better or more fun uh, that's when someone comes towards you. Pisces is focusing on themselves and then someone comes towards you like the Emperor energies with the King of Swords energy. They may have air in their chart, Libra, Aquarius or Gemini, um, but they are very clear and decisive and uh, sometimes sharp with their words. But spirit is giving this Pisces the strength to say what needs to be said and to walk away if need be from people who are closed off. Okay, so yeah. It could be that this weekend somebody comes in passionately and excitedly and you're being guided, Pisces, to sit in the Queen of Swords throne and to speak your truth to others about your boundaries and to not be afraid to fairly, justly, and clearly cut someone out of your path. Because as you're doing so, as you're bringing an end to what was, Spirit is bringing you the star energy, helping you to uh, receive wishes that come true in your life. Look at this. 
I'm really feeling by Saturday or Sunday, this particular Pisces during this general reading is going to receive unexpected quick communication that's going to put them in and with the energies of happily ever after. Planting new seeds, moving away from troubled waters, being offered a win, a blessing, a gift, an inheritance, and really thinking about forward movement, travel. What is it that I'm passionate about? Where do I want to live? What do I want to do? For some Pisces, your ship is coming in. You're manifesting the devil and they're coming towards you now and you're kind of like, oh my gosh, I'm done with that. I need to take down these swords of negativity, of negative thoughts, feelings, emotions, viewpoints, outlooks, perspectives, people and or substances and open up my window and let the sun shine in. Listen to your intuition. You've got the Queen of Cups energies here. So Pisces, you're in your element. Your intuition will guide you very clearly, especially if someone comes towards you who may have Virgo in their chart with the Hermit energies. Uh, they're offering an empty cup for sure here. For some, you may be unsure of an offer and you're sitting there with the Hermit energies trying to get to the truth of a situation. There's indecision regarding maybe someone who has Sagittarius in their chart with the Temperance Angel here. Confusion, illusion, frustration. What do I do? Well, with the Temperance energy, the Temperance Angel is Spirit's way of saying we're going to help you to find balance in your life as you set goals and intentions for your future. And as you walk away from... People who may manipulate you, people who may come in passionately to meet up, but then when you ask difficult questions, you they become sharp with their words. You don't need that, right? You deserve only the best caring, loving, giving, truthful, honest, fun people in your life. If somebody is closed off emotionally, spiritually, psychologically, yeah, we have a Pisces that's saying, well, then, you know, Here's how far I've come. Here's what I've accomplished. Now I know how to head into a new path. There may come some form of realization. Again, that is going to cause this Pisces to not be able to make a decision to walk away from what was into a new direction. Your ship is coming in for some of you, Pisces. Kind words, messages, and offers. Be careful of meeting up with others. Because we do have heartache. So if you're being tempted this weekend, Pisces, listen to your intuition. This is just a fun connection. It isn't something for the long term. Right now, Spirit's trying to translate. I'm translating that you've got goals to set and things to accomplish in your own personal journey. You need to make sure you secure and stabilize your finances. There may be an offer opportunity coming in for this Pisces to actually receive something financially this week. It may have to do with children. Maybe children are celebrating something and they're receiving finances. Now, we do have for confirmation with the Osha Zentero, we have an older air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, or somebody who's going to come in who's very controlling. You want to maybe communicate passionately and excitedly to them. You want to open your heart to them. You want to share your goals and intentions with them. But look at the devil. He's like, not interested. I've got you where I want you. So what are you going to do? Are you going to pick this situation, that situation? Are you going to pick that person or me? For some. And spiritual advice is telling this Pisces, go ahead and be playful, but know that you're a very independent, strong, financially stable and secure energy who is working towards a success in her life or his life. Again, you've got the high priestess here saying, listen to your intuition. Research what's on offer. Because emotionally, somebody may come towards you and mess up your head right across from the devil. So in your subconscious, remember, you've got the Empress energy here as a major arcana. Spirit is watching the actions you're taking. They're listening to the prayers you're making and are helping you to set goals and meet goals to achieve and give birth to 
a beautiful new path, new direction when it comes to finances. If you've been worried about finances with these four of pentacle energy here, Pisces, uh, you know, let go of trying, of worrying about, hand your worries about finances to spirit and ask spirit to bless you because that's what this angel is here to do. She's here to guide you. But if you close off by focusing too much on your finances and you darken your aura, you will actually repel financial abundance from coming your way. So you really got to dedicate yourself to what you're doing and spirit saying, we will send in this angel with the three of pentacles energies and will help for you to step into a very playful, fun, so, uh, happy path by which you are going to want to devote yourself to and celebrate. Okay, so in your inner strengths position, Spirit's giving you the strength this week to kind of tune in, turn in, lay down, rest, think things through. What is it that brings you peace, joy, and happiness day to day for the long term? Wow. So slowing down is communication like the Knight of Pentacles coming in slowly but surely. And with the Major Arcana, the Fool, we have a Pisces who wants to hop, skip, and jump after what is on offer, this opportunity that involves maybe travel. Pisces traveling towards someone, someone traveling towards Pisces. Your wishes are coming true, and all of a sudden, this Pisces is like, holy mackerel, with the tower, I need to ground myself as this chaotic energy is around me and put someone in the friend zone. I'm very connected to this person, but I need to think things through with the hanged man energies here. Spirit's going to help me to make the right decision as I use the Ace of, Sword con uh, Ace of Swords consciousness energy to recognize the truth of the situation, to cut away and to surpass this karmic test. Okay, so this is like the final test for this Pisces in some area. And you have the energies to master and heal from what was. And I think a lot of Pisces already have. They recognized and have gone through uh, attempting offer opportunity maybe with a an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. And they're going through a rebirth now. They're able to make new wishes come true, new exciting, passionate ideas projects and etc so yes as this pisces is bringing an experience to completion mentally emotionally spiritually cutting ties like i said in the previous video we have a solid foundation a home a business opportunity a financial st stable and secure offer that offer is coming with the page of pentacles energies and is bringing with it the three of cups energies of celebration Wow. There is a breakthrough and some Pisces are going to be uh, working with someone who has Sagittarius in their chart with the temperance angel here. Uh, it's about maintaining balance, really looking at what's on offer, going with the flow until you have that breakthrough. As you are researching and listening to the high priestess, uh, your inner voice. She's going to guide you with signs and synchronicities as to this new path, this new direction. The seeds you have planted have grown beyond its burdens and you are shining in and with the sunlight. And there's just a few Pisces left who need to let go of the Five of Cups energies because the clinging to the past energies turns us into a blockhead. So I think somebody's over this clinging to the past. I think they're over the energies of guilt. And now this Pisces is understanding the ordinariness to everyday life, finding contentment in the ordinary day to day okay yeah spiritual advice is saying postpone what you were projecting to be bigger better more for you and know that you are blessed to have all and who you have in your life at this time yeah be careful this is a test for a lot of pisces who are thinking of another person you're going to be sitting in aloneness after you've been receptive to another and uh, spirit saying let your tears cleanse uh, your heartache before making any further mistake and be patient go with the flow there's something wonderful that is growing with the nine of pentacles energies and is going to fall 
into your hands or you're going to fall into the ripeness of uh, what it is you want to give birth to, what it is you've been working on, what it is you're hoping to come true, you know, singing, writing, drawing, painting, doing tarot, essential oils, pottery, attending a course in the community, society, social media, whatever you are working on right now. This is all about you, your goals and intentions and what you're creating. Some Pisces may be trying to compare one person to another, one circumstance to another this week. Research what is on offer. Take time to go within and uh, don't let anybody control your passionate goals and intentions. Don't let anybody control you. Yeah, look at this. A lot of Pisces and I'm closing with the, like I said, Sacred Rebels deck by Alana Fairchild. <coughs> Pardon me. We have After the Storm. So a lot of Pisces are like, I took this remnants of a difficult path and I'm going to always remember what I learned right behind that. Bring it into form. So what is it that you're bringing into form at this time? What is it that you've been working on when it comes to your hobby, gifts, talents, or skills? It's never too late to start, though I've been trying to tell people, <coughs> pardon me, <coughs> for a period of time that this is the path of creating our sole purpose. And this will go on for many generations and will grow and prosper if people can work on your reason for being here. So... Whatever that storm was about, and this Pisces will know exactly what I'm talking about, the meaning of the card says, now, dare to be who you are and create from your heart. Your prayers have been uh, heard, so now you've gone through the cleansing of the storm. Don't make a thunderstorm mean more than what it is, though. You don't have to fear it. You might even feel excitement about it. After all, a thunderstorm is just nature's way of gathering energy together that needs to be released. With the release of tension, relief, and freedom soon to follow, often with a fresh perspective and perhaps the gift of a promising, hopeful vision will be yours for the future. There will be those precious moments of peace beforehand and the release of revitalization that follows. Yet the storm in the middle is essential. Essential. The storm wisdom offers you the gift of bringing things to a head and clearing them away so that the energy can be freed from a pattern that has had its day and is ready to become something new need i say more if these messages resonate for you and you would like more information or guidance feel free to write me at my email which is josiek42 at gmail.com my price list will be in the box below and i am still offering the spring summer special which is a 15 minute video reading for just 25 dollars if you'd like to give it a try Thank you for stopping by. Please like, share, and or subscribe. Thank you so very much to those of you whom have donated. Take care and God bless.